Check the name. Asshole Special. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic foodie adventure just for you. I am in the cold, overcast city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Farm Boy. Yeehaw! Because my wife was shopping here the other day and she's like, Ken, you gotta like do a food review there because they got tons of pre-made food that you can just grab and take home but get there before quitting time because everybody who just doesn't want to go home and cook, they just come here and buy up all the pre-made food so they don't have to cook for the night. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna park way over here. It's a good spot out of everybody's way. Not in anybody's way. All right. You guys ready to go check out what kind of foods they got? I sure am. Let's go. Kind of reminds me of Trader Joe's. Let me know in the comments below if it's similar. Typical grocery store. Lots of produce. Here's some of the stuff you gotta cook yourself. Hamburgers. Ooh, smoked Gouda. Portobello mushroom. Ooh, more stuff you can cook yourself. Salmon. Trout, oysters, mm. shrimp ring. Gotta love a good shrimp ring. Here's the cheese shop, deli shop, breads, oh, chocolate chip cookies, mm. those desserts. Oh, yeah. Those things are awesome. Ah, here we go. Salad bar. Now we have the same things at home. Salad dressing jars. Look at all that food. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at those pizzas. <gasps> oh, mushroom. What, you get, your, get it yourself. Italian sausage, two hot dogs, smash burger, soup bar, curry pumpkin, beef barley, chicken noodle, split pea with ham. Ooh, they, this is where they grill it all up. Chef's favorite, Peking pork, butter chicken, tofu curry, ew. Whole chickens, chicken thighs, hot, drumsticks. Hmm. I think I should do a bunch of stuff. Little uh, get your own stuff station here. Oh, look at this stuff. The hot bar. We got cheesy bacon potato skins, uh, chicken pot pie. Look at all that stuff. It's definitely been picked over. What is that, chicken thighs or something? Ooh, sushi. Gyoza, chicken gyoza. I think we should attempt a few items here. I need a basket. That's how much food we're getting. Oh, have even more stuff they gotta probably bring home for more people. Butter chicken, yeah, that's for a lot of people. Ooh, maple barbecue ribs. We got pizzas, big salads. Okay, they even got more food over here. This is stuff you gotta take home and heat up. It's all cold. It's like refrigerators over here. So it looks like. Oh, that's pretty good. Got some crab, shrimp, salmon, California roll maybe. Hi, could I get a bowl of the split pea ham? Yeah, oh, gonna get it yourself? Okay. Yeah. I didn't see bowls down here. I didn't look up. <laughs> Perfect. I got all right. How's your day going? Not bad. Excellent. Enjoy the soup. I will. Thank you.
Gotta try their smash burger, why not, eh? Italian sausage. I feel like I'm at Bucky's. Oh, I got a pizza bag from up here. Oh boy. The one I liked was right there. I should have grabbed it when I had the chance. I guess I'll do this one. Got all these salads and things, but. Ew. Beets. Yuck. Mushrooms look okay. Hmm. I think I got enough. It's a lot of food. Get a beverage of choice. No pop. No juice. Oh. There we go. Fiji water. Spring water. That's what you need to drink right there. Definitely want a dessert. All right. How are you doing? Can I get a caramel pecan cheesecake? And it's and these uh, Portuguese tart things yeah. that says that they're raspberry. Is that right? No, no, no that's <laughs> sorry, that's a different side. Those ones are just regular Portuguese tarts. I'll take raspberry one. I'll take raspberry. I'll take one of those. Yeah. I'm like I've never seen raspberry in one of those before. Do you want them in separate boxes? No, you can put them in the same box, please. Thank you. Thank so you very much. The codes on oh, there we go. Just have to, like, flip around. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we're ready. Look at that. A little bit of everything in that one. Okay, let's go. Before I buy more food. Go ahead. Yeah. Got a few things to take out. No problem. A lot of people do that for me. I do too. Well, I'm not going to rush either today. I'm going to do one of your freezer bag things or your refrigerator bags or what do you call it? Yeah. I'll grab one of those. Yeah. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Got a nice freezer bag. Let's do it. Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm wearing all my Buffalo Bill stuff because last night, Damar Hamill. Uh, tackle the gentleman uh, from the bangles and uh, when you look at the slow-mo it looks like he hit him uh, I, like he's he's going in and then they just collided and it looked like his helmet hit Damar right in the chest and uh, basically I think it stopped his heart and so he had a cardiac arrest he's still in critical condition so uh, hats off to the team hope I hope he recovers real fast I'm not sure after something like that if, if you ever play football again and the guy's only 24 years old oh what a disaster all right guys let's got this trusty steering wheel tray and start eating again video is being dedicated to Damar all right brand new uh, placemat and napkin the Christmas one was disgusting. So I originally actually came out to do a ramen bowl, but the, the store is closed. <gasps> that particular store is closed on, on uh, Tuesdays, which is a really weird day for a, a place to be closed. So, so my, that's why my wife said I should come here. And I'm also using the DJI Action 3. So I just had to, it looks dark for me uh, on the on the monitor there, but I'm hoping it's okay for you guys. So this whole thing came to $56.73. And uh, I'll, I'll try to remember to take a picture of this and put it up on the screen so you guys can see all the items, itemized items. Get out our water. Gotta start drinking more water, people. We got our soup. That lady was phenomenal. Every, everyone I met, 
I'm gonna throw that bag down there. I'll give that bag to my wife. She'll be happy about that because I think we're, we're always giving our kids uh, lots of food from Costco and it's and they need to drive home with it and they never bring back the freezer bags or the fridge bags. All right, cheers, Fiji water going down. Again, if you're gonna drink water, don't drink uh, reverse osmosis water. Um, you need spring water, spring water is the best. Uh, I'm gonna leave that open. I also brought water from home and that's spring water too. But I wanted to uh, check out the Fuji or Fiji. All right, so I guess the dessert's gonna go over there. Um, I'll put the sushi here because that I don't care if that gets cold. Definitely want to bite this pizza immediately. Oh my goodness! Check that out. Scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. I'm hoping this camera does a good job. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Super crunchy on the edge. Mmm. Very nice marinara sauce. Look how nice that is. Mmm. Mmm. That is a very nice pizza. If you're in a rush, you just stop. Run in there, grab your pizza, pizza, cash out. And away you go. That's uh, bigger than like a regular slice you get at, at a pizza joint. Not sure about the comparing of the prices. Love mushrooms, pepperoni, cheese. Looks like they put a couple green peppers on there. I'm glad they're as stingy as they were with just putting a few green peppers on it. I really don't like a whole lot of green peppers on my pizza. Sometimes I don't mind it, but I'll never order it myself. If I'm at home and I want a pizza delivered, I would never order it with green peppers on it. That is a great slice. Got to do a little cleanup before we move on. I like putting that there, that's a good spot. Oh, I just destroyed it. I had pizza sauce and I just wiped my mouth and wrapped the napkin in one go. Okay, the soup's probably still really hot. Let's try this smash burger. I got marinara everywhere. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. Remember Chicken Man, all you Toronto people? Chicken Man, he's everywhere, he's everywhere. Uh oh, guess what I forgot to do? Grab the condiments that you would normally put onto this. They were there, I just totally gapped on putting, grabbing it, because I was kind of thinking that it would just be all, all made. There's your smash burger, cheese, toasted bun. Kind of looks like the hamburger I got in Japan out of the uh, vending machine. Same kind of size and well, the patty is definitely thicker on this one. Mmm, smells like a barbecue burger. That's not bad. I think I'd rather have the pizza over this though. Knocked over my sushi. I would have loved to have tried that when they first made it, uh, and it would have probably still been more juicy than this. So it's a little dry. Uh, again, if I was to come back again for lunch, I would say I'd get the pizza for sure over that. Let's try this Italian sausage. Their stickers work well. <laughs> All right, Italian sausage. Italian sausage with onions. I say, as I was opening it up, I could smell the onions. There we go, lots of onions. Nice sausage. Ooh la la. Okay, here we go. The bun is nice and fresh. Definitely needs a squirt of mustard. Love mustard on my sausage. 
and sauerkraut, as you guys know. Hmm. I'm glad the bun's all nice and fresh. The sauce is okay. Onions are okay. But if I was in a rush, need some food, once again, I'd eat the pizza. Way to go, farm boy. Your pizza's rocking it. Okay. I didn't fill it up. I probably would have normally done that, but... And I love split pea soup, especially when they put ham in it. Show the logo. This is basically you could just drink out of it, right? Mm. <laughs> I haven't had plitz, plitz pea. I haven't had split pea soup for ages. Mm. I can't remember if my mom used to make it. I think she, I'm not sure if she just bought it or if she made it herself. She, um, she used to make a really good uh, potato soup. Potato, she still does, a potato and ham. Has the same kind of texture as this, but of course this tastes like pea. Mm. Again, on a cold day like this, it's so nice to have soup. So if I came back here for lunch, I would definitely grab this and a slice and a bottle of water on a cold day that would definitely hit the spot check the name asshole special i didn't name it that's the way that's what they named it asshole special combo i took uh, my wife out for new year's eve and uh we went out luckily we got there like 4 30 because by the time we left there was a huge huge lineup especially on new year's eve all right guys going for the extreme close-up of this sushi individual platter i guess we could call it over here we've got the california roll and we've got one shrimp one fake crab four salmon and we've got our wasabi and our pickled ginger and over here is our soy sauce let's put it all together soy sauce i'm gonna have to uh just drip the soy sauce over all of it and then we will uh oops look at this it's coming up it's like dripping down the side oh what a mess dude here we go it'll puddle up on the bottom i'm assuming there we go uh where can we put that? There we go. Brought my own chopsticks, of course. So we'll get a little wasabi. Put it on one of our California rolls. Maybe we'll split that up over a couple. That was a lot of wasabi. You never know. Sometimes wasabi is very strong. Sometimes it's not. It definitely has been stronger than other times. A little piece of pickled ginger. We get the taste buds going. Cleanse the palate with that. We'll put some of that on our, our, you know what, I'm going to save that for later. I love the fake crab. I really, really do. Here we go, guys. Oh, I missed the uh, wasabi on it. There we go. Itidakimasu. Hmm. The um, California roll is nice. I really like... Um, Spicy California roll that is lovely. For a grocery store sushi, that's not bad. I prefer to order my sushi and then make it right in front of you. That's that's the best. I can find out what day they make it. Or what hour of the day. I'm trying to get there when they're doing it. I mean, it might be way better than it. You never know. It said on the on the thing that it was this will expire on the fifth and today is the third. So when you're going back and forth between different types of sushi, it's always good to uh cleanse the palate with the uh, the ginger so I've done two of that 
we'll do this next. I don't know. I have. There wasn't. I need an extra soy sauce. Gotta pull the tail off. Gotta love shrimp. Gotta love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more wasabi on this. I think this is gonna be the best out of all of them. I'm going in for that fake crab. <laughs> yep. Love fake crab. I prefer fresh snow crabs, but the fake stuff's not bad. Next up is the caramel pecan cheesecake and the Portuguese custard tart. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be the highlight, I think. If I can figure out how to open it. Too many stickers. Oh boy. I, I think I'm gonna, uh, this cheesecake thing I think you have to, there's like a little tab, and chances are you're not supposed to eat it in your car, but let's pull up the sides, and there is your little mini, 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 mini cheesecake, and I locked out today and brought a fork from home. I cannot wait to do this caramel cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Like, you could just eat it like a cookie, basically. Oh, that is killer. Killer. Check that out. Mm. Oh. My, oh my. Yep. That definitely beats the, uh, <laughs> the pizza slice. Wow. It's so creamy. And the caramel is just, that's a huge glob of caramel on the top, on the top there. Let's just get another big chunk right here. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Mm. It's so decadent, creamy, wonderful. I don't want to put it down just yet. This, I'm working on another uh, 24 hour video i'm just like really busy this week and it takes up basically two days to organize shoot get home and then it takes me two days to edit it so these ones are a little bit quicker so i appreciate your patience with me all right so i try to eat a lot of food just so you guys can check it all out mm. let us know in the comments below what is your favorite cheesecake all right guys last but not least a portuguese custard tart from farm boy cheers <laughs> oh that pastry is lovely the custard is nice and sweet oh yeah a dollar 49 the cheesecake was four forty nine. I think uh, the cheesecake was amazing, but I think I'd rather have two of these. You get more for your buck. Just thinking about it a little longer, I made a decision. This is great if you want to save a couple bucks and eat something amazing because it's only a buck fifty. But if you want to splurge a little bit and eat that next level dessert, go for that caramel pecan cheesecake because it is beautiful. Mm. You hear that? Mm. It's all over my face. Ooh la la. It's all gonna be in my tummy in just a second. Let's wipe down. All right, guys, this last bite goes out to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last bite is for you, and it's also dedicated to Damar Hanlon. Cheers. Mm. Fantastic. All right, guys, I wanna thank each and every single one of you guys for watching my videos, leaving those comments, hitting that thumbs up, 
and a special thanks to all my channel members for all your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped on over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.